Welcome to this video on the Infineon Eval Drive 3 phase PFD7 board testing with the MCE designer software. This is being tested with the hvfan.ldf combined file which is not optimized for this particular fan motor. At the moment we'll start the fan by clicking on the green traffic light icon and we will examine the uh, traces using the monitor that's inbuilt to show the motor speed and target speed. At the moment you would have heard a slight acoustic noise when the fan was first enabled and the fan does not seem to be moving and only ever twitches ever so slightly. Looking at the picoscope trace we can see that the board is generating a PWM waveform and if we filter that down to 1 kHz we can see the resulting uh, averaged out waveform that the motor would be experiencing. So because it's not able to start on its own at this stage, we can change the target speed to give it a bit of a help along. By default it is at 500 RPM, so I'll change it to 800 and write this into the board and we'll soon be able to see the motor start up. And there it goes. There's some overshoot on the speed, but the board brings that back quite quickly as much as it can. Let's change the speed once more and make it go at 1200 RPM based on its internal calculated speed. The speed ramp rate is preset at the default which is supplied by the LDF file. If we further increase the fan speed up to the maximum 2730 RPM that was configured in this LDF file and commit that to the board, we can see some unusual behavior which is indicative of some configuration problem. The fan speed has now ramped up to a stable speed it claims to be between around 1650 to 1750 estimated RPM. However, according to the Picoscope trace, we can see that we are already over speeding with a frequency of about 62 Hertz being applied to the motor, which is only rated for 50 to 60 Hertz operation. We can also enter in negative RPM values if we want the fan to spin backwards because the target speed is so much higher than the current achieved speed it will take a little bit of time for the board to change speed as its internal ramp rate is slowly ramping down from the 2730 value all the way down to minus 1000. It should be noted that the noise in the estimated motor speed is not necessarily normal for the IMC101T, but it more likely points to a configuration issue with the sensing of this chip and the design of the board. The integrated trace system within MCE Designer allows for a lot of testing and tuning to happen without the need for any dedicated external test equipment, which is a very interesting and useful feature. The motor has now stopped and is now reversing direction. It is a little bit hesitant to start, but soon gets underway. And very quickly it reaches the target speed in the reverse direction. We can see in the picoscope trace it is about 36 Hz. We can increase the speed in the negative direction and this unveils some other unusual behavior. Looking at the picoscope trace we can see the frequency is steadily increasing as the fan speed is running faster and faster in the reverse direction. However, unlike in the forward direction, it seems that the overspeeding is much more severe, reaching 67 Hz.
we can provoke even more severe overspeeding by increasing the negative RPM value that we provide. Now the overspeed has reached about 68 Hz. If I further increase the target speed down to negative 1900 RPM, which is the furthest that I'm willing to try, we can see that the overspeed reaches even 70 Hz. This is about as much as I'm willing to try, so I'm just going to hit the red traffic light button and bring this to a halt. Another thing that is interesting is the slow speed performance of such a drive. So I've just started it again at 500 RPM, the default. We can see the motor is once again twitching and not starting. But examining the flux angle and motor speed graph, we can see the estimated uh, flux angle is all over the place. It's not very consistent. Um, and this is indicative of uh, a poor estimation taking place. However, if we give it a little bit of time, the motor eventually gets going, as it just so happens to be lucky, either in terms of its alignment or momentum, and it is able to then achieve a uh, relatively constant 500 RPM. If we try to reduce this down to a slower speed of, say, 300 RPM, what we will see is that the motor tries to slow down, but the board is unable to retain low speed control in the sensorless regime. Eventually, the motor comes to a halt. We can start it up again just by putting in a higher speed, in this case 1000 RPM, uh, although it seems a communication stability issue has cropped up and we get an error. But it seems the function is executed anyway, I'll run it again just to be sure. So let's not be as greedy and let's uh, try 400 RPM instead of 300. And if we execute it, the motor will slow down and it should run stably at about 400 RPM. So let's try for a lower speed of 350 RPM. It seems like a comms error is causing problems with executing functions even though the tray seems to be running. So this seems to be a bit of an issue with MCE Designer, but eventually we get there. And it seems like that 350 RPM is also okay, but 300 is not. So this has been a quick demonstration of the MCE Designer software along with its internal trace features and the performance of the Eval Drive 3-phase PFT7 board with non-optimized parameters. This has been Goff Louis for Element 14 Road Test Reviews. Thanks for watching.